السلام عليكم صباح الخير كيفكم شو الشباب اتمنى بس اللي معانا يعطيني خبر اذا الصوت واضح شباب كيف الصوت معلش بس حدا يكتب لي على الشات مشان نبدا التدريب بليز اف يو كان هير ماي فويس بليز رايت داون سو وي كان ستارت ذا تريننج
Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So we will start uh, with the face recognition solution. Uh, today we will talk about the uh, SMB solution that uh, are specified for the same, uh, not by the scenario. Usually we take in the scenario by factory, school, etc. Today we will talk about the, uh, not the scenario, but the same uh, technology, okay? So we will take the face recognition, we will take the perimeter protection, and we will take also the thermal body temperature monitoring uh, with the social distancing, distancing reminder. So we will start with the face recognition solution. The content will be, we will talk about the face recognition system function, face recognition application and related information for it. So for the business challenging, we have a big data, low efficiency of labors, low accuracy, limited value. For the big data, because of the increasing data, it is difficult to analyze, retrieve and intelligently analyze the massive unstructured audio and video data produced by video surveillance industry. Okay, so this is one of the biggest issue we could face. Too much data uh, needs a lot of handling, okay? Especially when we are talking about uh, uh, when you are using continuous recording or uh, even for the motion detection. You need, when you are going to monetizing and analyzing the video, it will take too much time from you to get back to a certain air time uh, and figure out what happened at then, okay? Or who is this guy, etc. Uh, for the low efficiency of labor, the, per the surveillance camera monitors and records video day and night. The traditional security system will send a lot of time, spend, uh, spend a lot of time and manpower in finding and analyzing video to find the target information. This is for same issue with the big data, but for the same guy or the same, uh, the labor, okay? It will take too much time from them. Also, we have the issue of the low accuracy. The accuracy of the video surveillance system is relatively low because of the quality of video source, okay? So we are talking about the old system. For the limited value, there is less valuable information in a large amount of data. It's very important to combine big data with artificial intelligence to improve the value of video information. So here, we're combining the new technology with the old technology with the big data we have, okay? And we combine them and we get with a more easier technology to search and it have a cost effective uh, uh, we have a high efficiency for the labors and we have a high accuracy. So we can offer you this blacklist alarm, stranger alarm, PIB recognition, mobile alarm, remote monitoring, face tracking and face and metadata search, statistical report analysis. So here we have the face recognition process. This is the normal IBC camera. We can use with it a face recognition recorder, okay? It has the face detection, it will take that face. Uh, we have also a face detection camera, okay? On this side, the face detection camera already. In the same camera, it has the algorithm to detect the faces, okay? For the normal camera, we can use with it an MVR or uh, a face recognition recorder, okay? It, it will get the face detect and then it will make the face capturing. So the recognition part. Uh, the snapshot large and minimum, minimum image, okay? We have the feature modeling it will be converted to binary and it will be uploaded to facial features. See, so the image will be converted 
and then it will be uploaded to the facial features. Here, uh, the face recognition recorder will start face recognition recorder, okay? Here, it will have the data storage for the database. You can add the faces in the database inside the face recognition, okay? Also, you have the, you can, uh, you can uh, here in this data storage, you have the snapshot, registry, blacklist database. You can define here all of the things that you want to do with the database. Uh, here we have the uh, comparison, facial, uh, fa facial uh, feature of snapshot, okay? It will capture it and it will recognize it here. It will make the comparison. So here there is a difference. So it will give the comparison result. For example, this one, uh, this guy, his name is, uh, for example, Ahmed, and this one is Muhammad. So based on your database, what you are doing, uh, it will give, for example, if you put him in the stranger, so he will consider this guy, Muhammad, he's a stranger, okay? And he compare it with the, our database. So we, it will give you the result here, that this guy is not uh, Muhammad, and he's a stranger, okay? You can also make the image search. You can put uh, Ahmed, for example, image inside the data uh, inside for the platform, and you can search for it inside the database or inside the recording. Uh, we have the video analyzes. It's, uh, it's work the same. So this is the whole idea about it. Uh, this is the face recognition. We have this guy. We take the, his photo. We compare it with others. Here we have, uh, for example, this is a thief or a stranger. It compared with the, our database. For example, we have a sensitive area that nobody enters it except special peoples, okay? So anyone beside that, anyone who comes, he considered a stranger, okay, or intruder. Or sometimes you can have old employee, okay, you can put him on a blacklist. So it gives you a trigger that this guy is on the blacklist. Uh, so it will compare it and it give you a similarity about it. So as we said, we have the whitelist for the guys who's working at the site. We have the blacklist, for example, a uh, person that... Uh, already done something or a uh, uh, former employee. Uh, we, we have also the stranger. If somebody is stranger and coming to this site, it will give you also triggering the alarm for that. Here we have the metadata. It gives you for the face, the age, what is his age? He's male or female, wearing a mask, face mask, uh, expression, that uh, his normal uh, joy, sad, aggressive, etc. We have almost uh, seven uh, facial uh, uh, metadata, including the age, gender, glasses, mask, beard, skin, and expression. Uh, for the metadata and face search, you can use the DSS Pro or you can use the same recorder for it. Here it, uh, you can define that uh, the time, the age, and gender, okay? You can be this specified. Beard, uh, wearing glasses, okay? For example, somebody uh, made uh, a robbery and he was wearing glasses, okay? The police come to ask that he was wearing glasses. He's uh, uh, male, okay, or he's female. So you can define this metadata and start the searching based on that. Uh, also, you, if uh, the police provide with a picture, you can upload it and start the searching for it. Uh, we have the face tracking, the, we have the video manager system, management system. So you enter the face of this guy and he start to show you where this guy is shown, okay? So we, 
uh, this guy he was at the lobby then he was moving at the corridor A then he entered the office A okay he left office A he went to office C for example Uh, we have also the st statistical report analysis based on based on face features. Okay, so this one, as it's shown here, this is the blue. This is for the males. Okay, from time, uh, from uh, two p.m. to three p.m. Okay, it's showing that you have forty-five male at that time and twenty-seven female. The total. Is 72 you can define these features based on your needs the age gender expression etc you can use this for uh, your client uh, needs or for your client requirements so like he wants to know how many male entering the shop how many female entering the shop what type of uh, uh, what they are, uh, what is their expressions, etc. Okay. Uh, the alarm via VMS and mobile uh, app. For sure, you can get the notification. For example, for VIB, if somebody in VIB list he comes, for example, in the bank, uh, someone is VIB coming to the bank. Either you can be alarmed through the uh, control room on the video management system or through the mobile app that uh, Mr. Muhammad is VIB on our list please see uh, you yeah once you see him you know he's the VIB so you go to welcome him etc okay so for the face uh, recognition typical application uh, the face recognition system is a technology capable of identifying or verifying a person from a digital image or a video frame from a video source. It works by comparing selected facial features from a given image with the faces within a database. Okay, as we explained later uh, previously, so it identify, for example, me, the image that you are seeing. It's been captured, then it's get analyzed okay, from the video source. Uh, it's compared the facial uh, facial re features uh, from the image that's been taken, and it when compared with the database or it adds to the database. So uh, as we mentioned, it can be used in the VIB recognition, uh, provide better service to VIB customers. We can add to the blacklist alarm entrance uh, of malls, stadiums. Okay, for example, out of a lot of malls, like uh, there is some guys who's making troubles. They sign them on a paper. You know, a lot of staffs and uh, guards have been shifting. So, actually, this guy he's never so it will not be familiar for the new guard. Okay, but for the camera and for the system, it always recognizing him that this guy is on the blacklist please go and catch him or etc uh, stranger alarms okay so when somebody is getting to a warehouse or uh, a place that he must not enter to it okay for the attendance management uh, in school company also it can be used for that that uh, Ahmed he, he comes at uh, 9 a.m. Uh, etc uh, for the access control, the apartment and industrial parking, we can use that also. So for the security application, uh, we have the access control and we have a blacklist alarm, we have face tracking and face search. Okay, this is for the security application. For a business application, we can use the feature of VIB customer recognition face attendance, customer demographics, and PI reports. Okay. For the store face recognition application, we have the scenario description for the entrance. Okay. 
for the VIB recognition and blacklist alarm. We have the VIB face tracking uh, where this VIB guy is moving, okay? What he might interest him, what is the area that interests this VIB guy for him. So I can, in the next visit, focus on that for him. Uh, inside the warehouse for the access control and stranger alarm, uh, we have in the office for the stranger alarm and uh, BI report. Uh, so the stranger are prohibited from entering the office to ensure safety and customer statistical analyze, as we said before, for the BI report uh, based on the facial uh, recognition. Uh, we can identify that uh, uh, or uh, his man, female, etc. at a certain time when they are entering the show, what time, etc. So for the values, we uh, use the face recognition technology to boost business and increase profit by providing better service. Ensure the store safety. Okay, This is all you can use it. For the recommended product, we can use the IBC 5 series, okay, this camera 5 to 4 series, and we can use the HD, HD BW5441 G series, we can use the MBR5 with the Dash I series, and uh, of course the mobile app. For the school face recognition application, Actually, most of these uh, scenario we already take them in specified. Uh, so, so the scenario description, you can, uh, the entrance and surrounding area. For, so if the stranger are coming to this school or uh, a blacklist uh, guy is coming to this school, we can get the alarm. In the classroom, uh, the student face attendance, okay? So we can know these uh, 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 guys, they are attended or not. We can also make uh, for the public area for the student face tracking, uh, Ahmed, where he did go in this day. Okay, For the blind area, like for example, we can see these guys, he's, they are trying to buy something from this uh, lady. Uh, so this lady is not recognized through the camera, okay, we can uh, see that it can trigger an alarm for a blacklist person, okay? So the guards can approach that uh, incident. We can have the values for reduce the occurrence of fights and other events, uh, efficiently and identify blacklist and inform security personnel with a fast phase retrieval for example, in this scenario, uh, we have the ensure the school safety. Okay, we recommend this product to use them. Okay, for uh, the school face recognition application. For the bank face recognition application, for the entrance, okay, we have the blacklist and VIB recognition. Uh, we can also have the identifying verification authentication of customer and assistant business handling, okay? So who's dealing with the teller, uh, we can do that uh, identifying verification for this guy. Is he truly Muhammad or not, okay? Uh, through the ATM, we can have the blacklist alarm when a blacklist person makes transaction. The camera send face picture to the alarm center, okay? For example, we have a picture of somebody who used to steal the, uh, they are using to steal the cards from persons, okay? Then they enter and catch the money, okay? Uh, so we can install the camera at the ATM. Once this guy, he arrived to the ATM and he tried to, like for example, uh, use your card, okay? The, camera will send an alarm that this guy is on the blacklist, go and catch him. Uh, in the office area for the access control and face attendance, only authorized person can enter a particular office area and face attendance, okay? Uh, this could be helpful, okay, for, uh, for example, the IT area. 
nobody can enter that except the IT employees. So we can use this feature also. So the values we we have the provide better service for VIB and finds VIB, improve work efficiency and accuracy, ensure the bank safety. This is the recommended product. Okay, we can use. Okay, uh, we can assume this casino face recognition application as a mall. Okay, we can use them at the entrance for the gaming area and the security room. So it will reduce the occurrence of fights and other events, uh, efficiently identify blacklist and inform security personnel with a fast face retrieval, ensure the mall safety. So we have company face recognition application, uh, the scenario or description for the entrance. Uh, we can use access control, attendance. Only employees are allowed to enter the company and attendance is more convenient. Okay. Uh, we have the authorization office location that uh, this uh, department, nobody can access it unless they are working there. Okay. So we have the recommended product, the face recognition camera, we have this uh, five series camera, we have the swing barrier and the standalone face recognition uh, device. Also with the NVR and you can use the BMS uh, DSS Express. So the values will be identification and admittance personal is more convenient, accurate and efficient, avoiding employees punching in for others. Okay, so you know previously some uh, when the old system through the cards or through uh, some uh, old systems, uh, usually employees uh, can can manipulate this like uh, you have uh, one friend okay this day please go and punch my card etc so these are from the past no more of that we have also the ensure uh, the safety company information and property so this is the system solution the recommended uh, solution we have the economical solution so it's based on the DSS Express DMS the MVR5, uh, uh, sorry, the MVR4 series with the dash I. Okay, we have the switch and we have the face capture camera. For the camera, we can use the five series, okay, uh, five series, uh, for example, five, uh, five, uh, eight, four, one, okay, it should be Hoyer 4. This is the uh, feature of the camera. The MVR, as we said, it should be dash I. This is the uh, specs for it. And we can use the DSS Express, also the software. So the application scenes will be store, bank, hotel. We have the mid-end solution, okay? Apply to up to six uh, uh, faces recognition, okay? Five database with up to 10 face image in total okay so this one the economical this is the mid okay there is something wrong it's uh, it's the opposite okay here the six here the 12 uh, in each one have a much higher uh, requirements okay for example here it can take uh, 700 data storage so in each solution, you find uh, more uh, more application or more uh, features that you must require from the previous one. Okay. So and then we have the high end solution, uh, which has twenty four face picture per second. Okay. So for the economical, we have one. Uh, we have six images per second. Okay, for the mid-end solution, we have 12 image per second. And for the high-end solution, we have a 24 
image uh, per second. So it will differentiate in the uh, hardware, okay, with the features, etc. Here, for example, this MVR 5X series, it has uh, around one and a half million face image storage. Okay, so each one depends on your requirement, depends on the application, uh, the uh, the type of the scenario you are facing. Okay, so we have these three solutions. Okay, uh, we have two mid-end solutions and we have the high-end solution, sorry. It has uh, up to 80 face picture per second. Okay, uh, for example, this one have the IVSS. This one is specialized for the face recognition, face detection. It has up to 10 million faces image storage. Okay, 10 million people face uh, face image storage. Okay, uh, it has a 20 face database with up to 300 face image in total. Okay, you can add 300 people in 20 face database. Like for example, the first database have the VIB, the second database have the whitelist, uh, the third database have the for example, the blacklist, etc. You can define whatever you want. And you have the upgrade solution. You can do it uh, yourself. So we have the hot products. This is the product that are recommended. Okay. For example, have we have this uh, camera? Uh, they are. They have the face uh, detection. They have the same face track. Okay. Snap angle filter. Uh, optimized snapshot, people counting, perimeter protection. You can use these types of cameras. Okay, this one also can be used. This one have the metadata, for example. Okay. So it depends on your requirements. You can use them. This is the MPR5 series. Okay, this is the specs of it see this mvr all of them with the dash i okay so you can know how to choose your product selection the face recognition metadata metadata search face search perimeter protection okay so this is the mvr 4 series it has two hard disk eight channels uh boe eight uh, all of them are boe with the dash i dash i means uh, ai uh, function so this is the five series okay uh, what we have difference between those two okay the number of capturing the faces uh, the number of uh, face recognition you can add to the database and how many database you can have okay and how many image storage can be recorded See here uh, in the four series, it has meta data of face. The other one have uh, the meta data of face and the human body and non-motor vehicles. Okay, so it can recognize if uh, human body or uh, non-motor vehicle. You can also have this feature to search for it. The IVSS seven series, as we can see, it has a twenty face database with up to 300,000 face images in total, okay? So the five series have 100,000 uh, and the four series have 20,000. Uh, the IVSS seven series have the 300,000, okay? With uh, up to 10 million face metadata or face images. We have the XVR also, if you are going to use the uh, analog system, uh, the HD, HD CVI6, you can use also the XVR series. Uh, we can provide it uh, to you with the, uh, uh, also it has the 20,000 images or 100,000, it depends on the MVR. We have the DSS Express, you can use it for face recognition, metadata, uh, this one for the video management system.
okay uh, we have the DMSS it can give you the stranger alarm face recognition alarm and video playback so for the installation guide we already uh, uh, we can see that uh, we need for the face to install it correctly okay so we have the scene with a single direction of flow we have the gate port we have the upward uh, escalator we have the entrance form so it should be like facing the faces okay here uh, this is the thing with a single direction flow okay so the camera will be there and everyone is getting captured for example here in the black, uh, backlight scene don't install the camera in where is there is a backlight okay here this is the entrance the camera is behind it okay or we can do, uh, put it in somewhere where is not facing the backlight uh, don't uh, install it with a complex traffic flow easy to cause a lot of side faces affected the recognition effect okay so in like these scenarios please do not install the camera it will have a lot of uh, uh, wrong effects okay so much better to use it like here here okay not like this where the face will be captured from the side uh, monitor scenes with a too wide width okay don't do that where is the there is a lot of wide uh, scene uh, scenes where ambient light is too dark also make sure the lighting is efficient so here uh, how to use the face uh, detection face recognition camera okay this is the recommendation uh, for example at height uh, 3 meters from 2.5 to 3 meters the entrance is 3 meters from 7 to 10 meters okay so this is the recommendation okay snapshot location for example you need to take that snapshot from 9 meters okay so the height will be 3 meters the lens uh, millimeter will be from 10 to 42 this is the recommended model and this is the uh, de depression angle okay so 13 13 uh, degree so we have a lot of uh, success uh, uh, success uh, stories or success cases see this is in uh, Carrefour Dandy Mall Cairo in Egypt the end user introduction Carrefour Dandy Mall wants to upgrade the IP CCTV system which can support face recognition from analog system to avoid loss as well so the customer requirements the total solution which includes surveillance without blind spots heat map thief recognition uh, lock criminals and import their face data into the face database when they appear remind security personnel to arrest them okay so this is the typical of scenarios that you might uh, have uh, here we provide okay we covered the blind spots we have the heat map like where is the most crowded area for Carrefour uh, for example the food section or the baby section etc we can find out where is the much higher traffic of people that they are visiting okay and thief recognition for example we caught someone stealing uh, they uh, they import his face to the database so whenever he come again to steal or he come again to to the mall uh, the personnel will be alert and to go to arrest him also uh, you can uh, look uh, you can save that incident when he stole the first time you can save it and look that evidence okay so when, when he come again you have this evidence on him so this is the model we have been using there the uh, HF8242 face uh, detection camera the I IVS 7200 Pro and the smart VSS see for example here 
So thank you. This is the Daho face recognition solution. Uh, focus on your concern about. Okay. So we gonna see right now. I'm going to. We will move to the AI parameter. So, Bismillah. Uh, we have a limited time. Uh, I need you to know that uh, if you want these uh, uh, scenarios, all of them are provided on our website of Dahwa. Okay, you can go to dahwasecurity.com and you can find the solutions that I am already to talking about. Okay. So we have the perimeter protection, detect tripwire, and intrusion violation. So let's dive in. Okay. So the previous solution, we used to use the old the launcher. Okay. We have the electric fence and the traditional camera. So for the launchers, uh, we have the high false alarm. Okay. That caused by weather such as rain, fog, snow, uh, etc. Uh, complex installation and debugging, uh, and there is no visual effect. For the electric fence, security risks such as electric shock hazard not suitable for uh, uh, for the gas where it's, there is a lot of gas environment. Okay, there must be some sparks and have uh, an issue. Complex installation and high cost, and there is no visual effect. For the traditional camera, high false alarm with a traditional IVS uh, algorithm and low performance. So for the solution benefit, we have uh, what is perimeter protection? The Dahua perimeter protection is based on AI algorithm. So it can focus on human and vehicle only, providing high, efficiency, uh, high efficient and real, reliable and cost effective visualization solution okay uh, so it works by AI and it offers high definition capability that can provide accurate and predictable intrusions alarm okay so it focuses on humans and vehicle uh, and there is we have the alarm filtration uh, for the rain uh, leaves moving animals uh, for its instant bugs and the lights so what can perimeter protection provide you? It can provide the accurate detection and false alarm rate with a less than 100%, okay? Less than one. Uh, so 99% it's accurate. The target classification focus on human and vehicles only, human and vehicles. And quick target search, target search efficiency up to 98%, so you can search uh, you can say I want to search only for the humans okay so it gives you who uh, get your rules at that time it gives you that this is this is the human okay or you can search for the cars we have also the remote monitor uh, it sends you the alarm push notification sending time with less than one second uh, we have the active deterrence uh, can also link to your camera or etc. Uh, the Sarina or uh, light linkage, real time working uh, warning. Uh, we already have uh, we we already have some cameras with uh, red and blue lighting also uh, with inside speakers. So here we have the traditional uh, IVS and we here we have the perimeter protection. So the animals can trigger the alarm, the leaves moving can trigger the alarm, 
and the flashlight from there can also trigger the alarm. Here, with the perimeter protection, all of that you will forget about them, okay? So we have also the human and vehicle classification. Uh, see, this uh, the camera identify that these are humans. This is a car, for example, okay? So this, all of that can be used to, to define and make it easier uh, for uh, the triggering of the alarm. A human and vehicle option for quick search, okay? As we can see here, these all the videos that have been captured through the MVR, XVR, uh, retain the non-motor vehicle search option for compatibility with the old IBC BTZ devices program, okay? Uh, so you can here select the effective target, okay? I want to search for a human. Once you press for a human, it will show you whenever you have a human, okay? You can search for the motor and vehicle and the non-motor vehicle, for example, the motorcycle, uh, etc. So we have the we have the remote monitor uh, through the network. Okay, you can uh, through your mobile also you can get the alarms. You can make this arm, etc. So the real time alarms push notification and one click this arm fast and convenient. For example, uh, you want to disarm. The, the alarm at certain uh, camera, okay? You don't need to get, uh, or certain channel, you don't need to get it to give you or push you on alarms. You forget, for example, to make, or uh, you forget to make a period, okay? So you always use the manual. So when you are out of the site and you forget to, that the shop is open right now, okay? In the night, the arm is working. You press uh, the arm and it's working at the night. Whenever somebody coming, it sends you an alarm. But uh, in the morning, normally uh, people start to flow and come to your shop and the alarm start to send it to you. So you don't need to come back to the shop, to the security room, etc. To Through the, your mobile, you can disarm it. We have uh, already talked about the real-time push notification. Okay, the active deterrence with a built-in spotlight and security Serena active deterrence IB supports two-way talk and can actively keep intruders away from your property. Okay, so this is the remote alarm. It sends to you that somebody is work, uh, trying to approach. Okay, so you can a precise alarm based on AI technology, false alarm, filter, and target classification. So it tells you this is a human. What you want to do? You want to tell him uh, you can customize, okay, audio, that uh, please leave the area, or you can start a two-way talk with him, that please go and leave our area, or I will call the police, for example. Also, the camera can trigger the two uh, lights for the red and the blue. The one click uh, disarm and you can have uh, a schedule uh, disarming by period, okay? From, uh, ex for example, from 6 a.m. till 12 uh, uh, a.m., okay? Uh, this time I need the shop will be open for 18 hours and from uh, uh, 12 or for example from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. this the shop is closed so I need the alarm to start working so this is the typical scenarios you can use uh, most of these scenarios uh, I've already talked about for example the villa uh, we talked about that we can use the perimeter protection we can use also the behavior camera inside the villa for the elder people for the factory what we can use for them we take this uh, kind of uh, scenarios specifically and talked about them in the previous SMP sessions so here uh, 
in the factory we can use them okay for the fence for the vehicle area restricted area in inside the warehouse uh, also for the villa for the fence the garden indoor in the garage uh, for the no parking zone for example somebody is parking where he should not parking it can also trigger an alarm as we can see this car is not parking right so it gives him a warning please do not park here etc or please leave uh, here we have the industrial part we have the thermal scenario description okay so an industrial park uh, property protection is particularly important it needs to be efficiently monitored all day even in extreme weather such as extreme darkness fog smoke heavy rain and so on so we have this solution for you the thermal cameras can serve as an ideal protection under these environment conditions okay uh, the thermal camera can identify the people or who's intruding your uh, facility uh, with the thermal sensing so the value we have we can help users see clearly in total darkness no need for additional light source okay the thermal image can still provide perimeter protection and early warning helping user reduce intrusion and theft incidents it can also detect places uh, with abnormal high temperature and remind user of potential safety hazards okay for example there is a changing in the uh, in the thermal uh, temperature okay the high temperature uh, it could be a fire for example so this is the recommended solution. We can use the WestSense IB camera. This is the active deterrence, uh, uh, active deterrence cameras with a normal MVR. We can use the DSS Express. Uh, the highlights easy and quick upgrades from traditional video channels to an intelligent visual system by replacing traditional cameras. Okay, uh, diverse, di diverse. Uh, diversified uh, with sense cameras such as IBC cameras or BTZ cameras active deterrence cameras they all support SMD plus okay so what is SMD plus uh, the smart motion detection plus okay so it just only recognize the people okay so you don't need to change the MVR for example once you select a camera that have the SMD plus it's done okay you have this all the features that we have been talking about so we have the active deterrence camera support serena and uh, uh, light warning with a built-in mic and speaker to warn off intruders okay this is the product selection uh, with sense ibc new 3 series with sense btz sd5 and 4 series northern nvr and dms dss express we have also this uh, uh, solution you can use it the first solution we replace the cameras or we add additional cameras uh, the other solution you can use the WestSense MVR okay with the normal camera no need to change the camera just only change the recorder uh, for the two series or four series with a dash I it has the it supports the face recognition and SMD plus at the same time okay for the NVR. Okay, we have this solution for the thermal camera plus the NVR. Uh, you can use this type of cameras, the thermal BF1241 or the DOM uh, DF1241 series. With the NVR5 series, uh, you can use this the, the thermal solution for it. Uh, also, you can use the HD CVI camera uh, plus the WestSense series. Okay, so the normal HD CVI camera with the WestSense XVR. Okay, uh, seamless upgrade to HD CVI system to achieve AI function uh, by simply replacing the XVR. Fully compatible with all HD CVI cameras, including active deterrence camera with a light and serine uh, linkage. 
offers all HD CPI system capabilities, including real time technology, secure video transmission. Okay, so this is the normal camera, uh, but you have to choose the XVR with the Dash I2 series. So this is the perimeter protection IDC camera, these types, okay. This is the perimeter protection, active deterrence, okay. So this is the perimeter protection IBC, the normal one. Okay, this one, the active uh, deterrence, as you can see, it has the two lights. So this is the series and the model number for it. So perimeter protection, tripwire, intrusion, SMD plus, etc. cetera. Uh, it has the larger aperture, uh, F1, blue and red light flashes, okay, for stronger deterrence, increased two-way talk capability to communicate at further distance link, and it has the IB67. We have this, the BTZ camera, okay, for the perimeter protection. We have the NVR for the perimeter protection, we already mentioned them. We have the XVR also for the perimeter protection. Here you need to keep in mind that uh, up to all channels, SMD+, plus, all the channels can work on that. Uh, but for the up to two channels, video stream perimeter protection, for the perimeter protection, you can draw a line, you have two channels, okay? Or up to two channels, video stream face recognition. Okay, so this is also the models of the cameras. We have this uh, thermal camera with a, with a wireless Wi-Fi. So thank you for listening for the perimeter protection. And we're going to move for the next topic, which is the thermal body. Thermal body temperature monitoring solution. Okay, so please be patient. Uh, actually, we have uh, only one solution left. Beside this one, we are going to take right now. Okay, so it's not uh, one time. I think uh, we already talk about the. Dahua thermal body temperature monitoring solution more than one time. Okay, so here we will take it as quick as we can. So it's accurate, non contact, and fast. So for the background, Dahua technology launched thermal body temperature monitoring solution, which is capable of highly accurate body temperature monitoring. Uh, the accuracy is uh, plus and minus 0 0.3 with a black body with a built-in AI algorithm it can monitor multiple person up to three meter distance enabling fast and non-contact access so the current status slow temperature monitoring and unseen theory uh, the, the one with the high uh, it's it's not efficient so it's not efficient, high cost, unsafe, and low accuracy. So the solution overview, as we can see here, is the checkpoint. This is the camera. It can see if his uh, temperature is okay, then he can pass. If not, then we can have rechecking area with the old method. So it saved a lot of time. We have the fast passes, as we can see here. See. We have the high accuracy and it's savior. So the application, uh, it's a cost effective real time monitoring solution, no need extra PC for display and easy to configure. After the special period, it can be used in C scenarios such as perimeter, okay? So after the end of the collapse, inshallah, of COVID-19, you can use it in perimeter protection or also you can still use it for uh, inside the, for the same scenario like flu it will not go uh, who's sick 
we can identify that the people uh, have a high temperature, okay? We don't need sick people to enter, even after the uh, COVID-19 is done, okay? So this one still will be helpful, especially in the organization, uh, in, uh, in places, uh, in the offices, etc. We can still use it in the warehouses. We don't want our employee, if he's sick, to come to work and uh, uh, infect our other employees. Okay, so it will still be helpful even after uh, the corona is end, inshallah. So be deployed in places with a larger flow of people or at entrance. Okay, so it will detect multiple person at time. So only you need the thermal camera with the black body, the network video, uh, the NDR. Okay. So simple deployment. Also, you can use the only the camera with the switch and the PC with the DSS Express for sure. Uh, this is the application three. Yes, uh, real time monitoring solution with the data storage relies the historical data, backtracking, support no mask detection for remaining data statistic and report export. Okay, so you can use the IVSS or you can use the MVR 5X series with the thermal camera, which it has the non mask detection. And you have, for example, this report see this is the, the the person with his face this is the data statistic and this is the mask recognition see you can see this guy he's not wearing a mask right now he, he wore the mask you can search for the people that they are not wearing the masks so this we have the first application with the network vid uh, decoder and the camera the second one with the pc and the thermal camera the third one with the more accurate with the mvr 5x or the ibss so the application scenario hospital metro station supermarket shopping hall entrance this is the recommended model you can use. Okay. We have uh, more than one camera. This one, the economical one. We have the other uh, cameras also. So this is the successful cases in Beirut, Rafiq Al Hariri International Airport, okay, in Lebanon. You can see it. Uh, Thailand, Beirut. Also here in Saudi Arabia, we have, uh, you can visit uh, Jeddah Minimum facility, and you can see our cameras there. Uh, we have in Aramco, uh, we work with a lot of uh, uh, places, uh, the big places, as we are in, uh, in Al Haram. Also, we have our camera there are working. So thank you. Uh, and we will move the, for the social distancing solution okay uh, so the social distancing reminder solution okay we always forget we people always tend to forget so this is the background of the the essential gathering okay uh, here uh, we must stay at home etc we all know what what need we need to do with the COVID-19 uh, the distance it should be like two meters in some places one and a half meter some places uh, it depends okay so uh, depends on the government depends on the country you are living on so in UK for example they have two meters here in Saudi Arabia around uh, uh, one, hand, one and a half meter, I think. Uh, so we usually, how we can control this, okay? How we can keep this distance, okay? Some people forget sometimes. So for our solution, the DAO solution distancing reminder, uh, solution helps to avoid close and physical contact, okay? To reduce the risk of cross contamination between customers. 
when the physical distance between two people are less than the preset value, the system will remind the staff to act accordingly. Okay, so here we can see that this is, uh, for example, it's uh, uh, one meter, one meter, one meter. This one cross the one meter. So there will be like alarming for the staff, please keep distance. So the solution typology, uh, we can link the camera with the single cable. Uh, we have this camera and the switch. Uh, you can use also your mobile to monitor the MPR. Uh, so the IBC camera support people approaching alarm, powered by AI. So it should support this one. Uh, the MPR support the people approaching alarm pop up. Okay, it should the MPR also support the pop up. Uh, the supports the people approaching alarm pop up. The DMS, of course, it's uh, supported. Uh, there is no specific uh, firmware is needed in this solution. So we have the accurate alarm. The customer and shop assistants will be reminded by an external alarm device or a built-in mic in IBC or NPR when the physical distance between two people is below the limit. Uh, the prompt uh, the people in line to adjust the maintain distance from each other until the alarm turns off. For example, these people are start to get uh, close to each other, so the alarm will start. Uh, please keep a distance. They will keep a distance. Okay, once they keep the distance, the alarm will goes. So it's safe operation. This intelligent solution can help remind and maintain social distancing between people, significantly reducing uh, the risk of cross infection in the shop. Okay, uh, it's easy to deploy. The solution is simple and easy to deploy saving installation time and efforts okay so during the pandemic help to counteract uh, the spread of the virus by controlling gathering okay so we can control the gathering uh, the alarm will be triggered when the physical distance is below the limitation after the pandemic improving customer experience can be used for queuing management without updating okay it can make uh, you can uh, use it after the pandemic in the queuing management okay for the lines in the waiting lines okay uh, the solution application we can use it in the grocery food store pharmacy etc so uh, here is the camera that uh, we suggest the 3 megapixel dual lens stereo analyze ai network camera accuracy up to 95 percent with a special fw Okay, uh, so uh, this one, HDW 8341X BV3D. Okay, this is the camera that we recommended you. Uh, for the NVR, no special models recommended. Uh, NVR 5216 uh, version 2 or other the, for the monitor. And you can use the switches. Uh, you want, you can use also the red green lights. You can link it to the camera. So thank you for your listening and so thank you for your listening and I hope uh, you got uh, a very you got the all benefit of these four solutions okay so this is a specified solutions by its name okay so you already know right now if you are going to approach your client uh the face recognition camera the perimeter protection camera thermal cameras uh, for the body temperature you already know about it also the social distancing camera uh, the social distancing camera reminder you can use it also in uh, uh, queuing the the waiting lines okay you can use it to organize this okay not just only for keeping a distance so these four solutions uh you you're gonna face it a lot in the future so keep in mind to use use them well and stay safe uh, please uh, keep in mind that all of our uh, webinars and live uh, live streaming are recorded on our channel okay so please subscribe to the channel don't forget to give us like and show us some support 
Uh, thank you for your listening. So, salam alaikum.